Hello friends, so the topic for discussion in today's video is about creatine. So when we talk about creatine, the first thing that strikes your uh, mind will be kidney or kidney diseases. But mind it that creatine is, is a substance or a, uh, formed out of amino acids and is naturally found in many of your uh, uh, food products that you are taking, something like the red meat, like the beef, pork or even some of the fishes like the salmon. So it is naturally there and you might be taking if you are non-vegetarian. And uh, uh, the question that always people ask is that whether creatine is directly harm your kidneys. Sir. So, so far with the available data and the studies, we cannot uh, uh, say that uh, creatine is directly going to harm your kidneys and uh, uh, it is found to be so far to be safe. But the recommended dose of creatine is uh, 2 to 5 grams per day. And uh, um, But uh, if you want to take a 2 gram of creatine daily, uh, you will have to consume at least 500 grams of meat products, uh, which is almost daily impossible. And that is where uh, the supplements do come. And uh, uh, the creatine is important for energizing your muscles. That's why many of the people who are going to gym and athletic performance, they will be uh, taking it. But the dosage should be kept in mind. So if you are taking creatine supplements, you should hydrate yourself with adequate amount of water, at least more than or equal to 3 liters of water per day. And apart from that, electrolytes like sodium, potassium and magnesium also should be replenished because creatine will drive water into your cells. And uh, those who are having uh, kidney disease or kidney problems, you have to stay away from the creatine supplements. And apart from that, there are a lot of brands available in the market and the regulatory body is also not that much firm. So the purity of brands is also a big question. So before you take creatine, better you consult your doctor. With that, I am signing off. Nani, Namaskaram.